Okay, it took a bit, but I got this other side about ready here. And I was, uh, I ran out of welding wire, welding supplies. I won't be able to get any more until this next weekend. So by then I should be able to, well, I'll be able to concrete this in next. And then the, I, I wanted to put a little more rebar, or otherwise I would do these here. But I'm going to put a little more rebar here. Welded here, and a little bit more structure, so it connects to this up top. Um, anyways, I'll get all that done. It's not a whole lot, and then uh, start putting the sand in once I get these corners poured. <laughs> get get the coils wired up, obviously. Because of the time frame, I'm not going to be able to build a room here before winter is done, obviously. But I might get a, a greenhouse wrapped around this thing for a winter grow room and a test room. And I could camp out here. So I was planning on at least camping out around it if I could get it done this winter but as an old guy. <laughs> And there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to. It's real close now. Next, I'll start clearing all this out to set the solar panels up. I can work on that now until I get my materials. Start setting these solar panels up. Update on these batteries I made. It's been six days. And I've been able to charge and discharge them. I run, a, uh, run these three fairly good size yard uh, uh, LED yard lights they run all night ran 14 hours last night stayed bright all night well it was still fairly bright this morning and uh, they're holding over three volts to one volt a piece they're charging at about five volts right now as you can see they're not deteriorating or anything it's a stainless steel scouring pad And the zinc plate, look how clean the zinc plate still is. So when I was using copper and zinc, everything deteriorated with the same mixture. Even the zinc was, you can see the zinc on this one looks kind of, I don't know if you can see that very well. I want to dump it out. The zinc on that one right there looks fairly bad. That's because this is an older plate from the copper one experiment I had going first. And the copper don't work, or at least not for this particular design. The stainless steel and this zinc is working fantastic. <laughs> I'm uh, just totally amazed. So I've got chemicals coming in that I'm going to learn the mixture of how to create, recreate this same setup. So I just received this, it's pure zinc, same thing that's in these little batteries, but I've only got a little teeny piece in the batteries. And uh, here's where I'm going to start learning how to mix this stuff. This is called manganese dioxide. It's actually used in uh, pottery, of all things, but it's also used in alkaline batteries. Where I'm going to be using it. Now I'm waiting on the uh, potassium hydroxide, and then I have that'll be about four or five more days. Okay, the light's been on all night, second night in a row. Look, it's still bright, fairly bright. The sun is up, but it hasn't got to this solar panel yet, so it's 6 30 in the morning. I'll check the voltage and see what it's at. Okay, we're still at 3.3 volts. Perfect, because these are one volt batteries. Huh, look at there, holding strong, 3.3 volts. I could check the milliamps real fast. And this is after all night running that light. No sun till this morning. There ain't been no sun yet. <laughs> 